Or if you want to talk to your PDF that is on your local machine and you want to ask some questions that is important for your assignment. Of course, you won't give it to ChatGPT or any kind of AI because it's private, right? So what if you can install a private GPT on your local machine so you can talk to your documents? I will tell you a step by step guide that how can you do it. But before that, the system requirements are on your screen. It is important to ensure that your system is up to date with all the latest releases of any packages. So this is a command on screen. You can just install it. And don't worry, the article link will be in description, so you don't need to write this manually. You can just copy and paste it. Okay, the step two is Python. We have to install Python 3.3 version if you don't have already it. Now it's time to install Poetry. You can install Poetry using pip if you don't have it already. The command is on your screen. At this step, the installer might throw you some errors related to path just like in the screenshot below. And now what you need to do is to add slash home slash user dot slash local slash bin to your path. Here is the command. Now it's time to set up your private GPT. First you need to clone the private GPT repository in your system. I presume that you have already familiar with git and github. This command will clone your git repository. Now you need to set up a new environment so that your entire system does not get messed up. Because we need a user interface to interact with our AI, we need to install the UI feature for Poetry and we need local as we are hosting our own local LLMS. It will take an entire bit of time to install graphic drivers and other dependencies which are crucial to run LLMs. As the most of the work has been done and all you need is your LLM model to start chatting with your document. To install an LLM model, you have to type poetry run python script slash setup. This process will take a long time as the model first will be downloaded and installed. The size of models are usually more than 4 GB. If you are thinking to run any AI models just on your CPU, I have a bad news for you. I mean technically you can, yeah, you can do it, but it will be plainfully slow so it's better to use a dedicated GPU with lots of VRAM. I have NVIDIA GPU with 2 GB of VRAM. All you need to do now is compile the LLMs to get started. Here's the command on your screen. Now it's time to run your private GPT. This step requires to you set up a profile which can edit in the file inside private GPT folder named setting slash setting dash local dash yaml. But to not make this tutorial any longer, let's make it come on. Okay, now the time has come to chat with your private GPT. Okay, now what you need to do is open your first private GPT instance in your browser. Once you loads up, you will be welcome to the plain UI of private GPT. On the left side, you can unload your documents and select what you can actually want to do with AI, query docs, search in docs, LLM chat. On the right with the prompt pane, here you will type your command and you'll get the responses. You can see some of the screenshot in the video. So this was how you can set up a private GPT on your machine without sending data to ChatGPT or any other kind of internet AI.